comments in the game, Coach? Is that what they do here? <laughs> yeah. yeah, usually. <laughs> I, I want to first say congratulations to BU. Uh, I thought they, those guys, you know, their players worked tremendously hard. I thought the coaching staff had them ready to go. Um, and hey, I think it's a coaching 101. Uh, obviously didn't have our guys ready to go um, well enough, you know, for the start of the game. I think the first 10 minutes might have might have cost us. And then we had some mental mistakes that really cost us there at the end. And so be it. That's uh, it's a good learning curve for us. I, I saw at the media time on the first period, uh, you guys played better in the second half of the of, of the first period. Uh, that second line uh, seemed to get you guys uh, going uh, to t tie the game. You know, what did you? What was the message at the uh, media time out there? Well, it's just the fact that we got to just settle down. We got to get our feet moving first and foremost. We got to start to finish, finish checks, and that's what they exactly did. And try to keep our sticks down on the ice too. And once we got corrected those mistakes, they kind of took over. And um, the, you're right. The second part of the first period, down the last 10 minutes, was good. And I thought our second period was was excellent. Uh, it was one of our better periods this, this year. So um, again, uh, you got to play a little, a little harder. You got to play a little, little. You know, I just don't think 40 minutes cuts it. I just don't, and it's not going to. And we got to figure that out. What do you think your program has learned in these past two games, going up against the North Dakota and a BU? Uh, you probably would have just said, you need to play as close to 60 minutes as possible, as hard as you can. Like, you can't let off on teams like North Dakota and Boston University. Um, and we get back in our league, it's going to be absolute. <laughs> You know, we, we set ourselves up, but what, what good is it if you don't capitalize on it? And by, by just, you know, we're, we're taking our foot off the gas pedal here, is what we're doing. I think we're, we're just reading way too much of the press clippings, way too much. And it's, it's, it's on me to make sure that uh, that is corrected, and it will. It, it, it will get corrected. Do you think that your guys might have thought it would have been a bit of an easier time with so many great players away from the BU program tonight? There's your coaching one-on-one. -on -one. And I give David David Quinn um, all the credit in the world for that. He had his troops ready to go. Our troops were not ready to go for the first first 10. And that's on me. Talk, talk, talk about the uh, second, second line a uh, little, little more there. You know, two goals in the first, first uh, period, and they, they also drew a, a power play towards at the end. You know, a little odd made of your top line, but you know, it, it, it you know, it probably key, key to your success that other lines uh, start going here as, as uh, we play approaches. Sure. sure. Um, second line really pulled through there to help us out here in this game. Uh, and and they, they have in the past, and they really played played well. Um, and we need to, not only need the first line, and I thought they played much much better tonight. Uh, and you got a second line, and I thought you know some of the guys that haven't played a ton played pretty well tonight. So you know, just like I said before, a, a, a hideous line change on a PK, uh, strike one, strike one. Easy turnovers, strike two, strike three, uh, overtime, you lose a game. So it's really not that uh, tough to figure out.